Hi everyone, welcome back to another Eagle Forum Capitol Hill update. I'm Tabitha Walter, the political director of Eagle Forum, and this is my colleague Kristen Hassler, who is our executive director. Hi everyone. As you all know, the election is only three months away and all candidates are ramping up their campaign efforts. This week, presidential candidate Joe Biden released his agenda for women. This document is full of feminist policies that would erase women and dismantle the family unit. Let's dive into some of these promises. So Biden starts off by saying women, particularly women of color, have never had a fair shot in this country. This is wildly untrue. And this is a talking point that has perpetuated feminist ideologies that have created legislation like the Equal Rights Amendment. Women have actually made great advances in the home, workforce, and in society for decades. Laws like the Equal Opportunity Act, the Equal, the Equal Employment Opportunity Discrimination Act, the Pregnancy Discrimination Act, and the Equal Pay Act have given women legal protections unique to their abilities. Democrats only want to further a victimhood mentality in order to create the illusion that they are championing solutions. Yes, and along those lines, Biden uses skewed data to show that there is a gender wage gap. They say that men still make more than women. However, the laws that Tabitha mentioned prevent women from pay discrimination. Women simply make different choices than men, many times because they are raising children. In reality, there isn't a gap. And Biden claims that this so-called problem and more women-specific issues can be addressed through the Equal Rights Amendment which he promises to champion. In the past, he has sponsored the ERA nine times. Even though its deadline expired in 1979, he is committed to ignoring that fact and recognizing Virginia as the 38th state needed to ratify it. If he is ignoring that rule of law, imagine how many other laws he will ignore as well. It's so true. Biden also touts his commitment to abortion rights for women. He promises to use the federal government to stop states' rights on abortion restore funding to Planned Parenthood that they willingly withdrew from, reinstate the Mexico City policy, and restore the contraceptive, contraceptive mandate without religious exemptions. This would completely dismantle the pro-life progress that President Trump has achieved over the last four years. And the last item in Biden's agenda for women that we would like to highlight is his inevitable plan to put sexual orientation and gender identity and language into the nation's laws. He plans to use our taxpayer money to fund hormone therapy and transition surgeries for those with gender dysphoria. This, among other policies, would be a disservice to biological women, furthering the notion that a man can have access to any unique rights that a woman has. Yep. In reality, these policies would hurt not only women, but men and families as well. A President Joe Biden would destroy the values and freedoms that we as Americans enjoy today. So thank you for turning in, tuning into our Capitol Hill update. If you have any questions about what's happening on Capitol Hill, comment below. If you want to dive deeper into these issues, please visit eagleforum.org. There you can sign up for our weekly emails and alerts, as well as our monthly Eagle Forum report that is sent directly to your mailbox. See you back next, here, or next week right here at 2 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. See you later.